Okay, today I'm working with, um, I'm just playing with these pastels. I don't usually use pastel very much. Uh, but I bought these actually because when I'm doing a layered print, I like to pull the, instead of pulling up the back with white, I like to use the off-white. And this had all these different, you can see, variations. So I figured this was about $20. And it's much cheaper because I, when I find the one I like the most, I will buy a large tube of it. But it's much cheaper to test out these smaller tubes uh, than to buy one of the larger tubes. So since this was only $20. And I figured I would play with these because I'm going to do some folk art. Um, like Scandinavian folk art. I, have you seen the birds they do? If you look it up, you'll see. I, I want to do some of that for my... Uh, hang in my house. I would like some for my kitchen and maybe maybe do some fish for the bathroom. But I want to do some pages. I was going to do it on rice paper but I decided to use a little bit thicker. I'm going to use this uh, this slightly off white. As you can see this is white. Not white white. Let me find something that's white white so you can see the difference. This is an off white um, block printing paper. That's what I'm going to be using today. I pulled out a bunch of texture sheets, you know the old glue texture sheets that I love using, and a bunch of the stencils and we're going to just layer the layer the colors up. So that's what I'm doing today and I'm hoping this works because I've been having awful problems with audio and I got a brand new camera and it I can't get the audio to work worth a darn. So we're just going to pull this up on different parts of the paper with these pastels and see how it works. Different colors on the page. And this is uh, Amsterdam acrylics and they're very nice acrylics. They have a little bit, they have a slow drying time, but not as slow as um, the golden fluid. All right, so I'm just going to put some of these up here. And get some backgrounds going. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to collage the birds. So I want different, little different areas. You know, one area for the head and another area for the body and... I should have brought the sketches out to show you, but I'll, I'll tack the pictures on the end of the video of uh, what I'm talking about. Okay. Pulled up some of it. Let me really push it down here. There, I pulled up a little. for just a minute. It's very thin, so it'll flush a little, but not too much. Let's put a blue over the top of it. not that warm out here today so things aren't drying as fast as they normally do. Now that's exactly what I had in mind. See how the colors are mixing? Oh I like that. Let's put something over that. Let's do that again but let's do that with some texture sheets. Let's do a light color. This light yellow is nice. And then we'll pull it up with the, the pink. And this is um, Naples yellow. Really pretty. And also, I'll probably be able to use these wipe-off sheets. So I'll put 
put those aside to use on the project. But yeah, I'm going to do them um, in pastels and then uh, do some either, probably black and white ink. Um, put some of these in. But I want a lot of texture in the, not a lot of contrast because of course it's all pastel, but I do want some texture. Dry for a sec while I pull this off on here. Maybe I can get something on there. I'm just pulling it off onto my wipe off sheets, and I probably will use those. But they're going to be collages. I bought some board to do them on. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like chipboard, I think. Let's use the pink. See what that pulls up. See if that pulls up anything. some paper on here. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, that's pretty. See how nice and subtle that is? That's what I'm looking for. Because I want some texture in it, but I'm going to be decorating them with, like I said, black line and white line. and So I don't want them to be... Let's run over the top of these. I just pulled the stack out. I wasn't really fussy about what kind they were. This. Let's use these. These are the ones that I cut the edges off of. Let's run over that with a dark color. Well, dark for this. These are really pretty colors. And I'm fully aware you can just mix white and get pastels with any color, but I don't do it. I just don't. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't do that. I just don't very much. I used to do a lot of color mixing, but I haven't in quite a while. Take part of it on this. And part of it on this. Let me do the whole thing on there because there's some of that blue on there. I see there'll be several areas where I can get interesting things from there. This one. I'm going to leave this over here the way it is, but let's start on another one. Put the paper where I can grab it. Alright, let's... I know what we want to do. I'm going to do this blue. Very pale. Pull that up and press this down over here where we got nothing. Let that dry for a second. Peach over the top of that. Let's see if we get 
something pretty. But yeah, this is what I'm doing today. I've been having so much trouble. I've got a brand new camera. I can't get the audio to work on it, which the problem with the old camera I thought was the audio. I thought it was the camera. Maybe it's just me. Oh, I'm having such a hard time with it. I was so frustrated I wasn't even going to come out here, but I've drawn out the birds and I want to get this done so I can cut them out. And I'm actually thinking of doing them on black background, painting the board black, and I don't know. I've seen that done. It's really pretty. Let's see if I can get, get this ripped down really hard. Get most of it up so I can start afresh. But this is what I'm doing today. Just trying for subtle pastel. Oh, that's pretty. Subtle pastel areas. Like right here will be lovely. And the birds are only going to be about that big, so that could be the whole body right there. I like that. Let's try that with yellow. Trying to stick just to the pastels, but I'm dying to get a dark color out here. But I'm going to do what I set out to do. Just the pastels. And these glue um, stamps, this one's a sticky back foam stamp but the others are all uh, just glue stamps they really work well for leaving marks and impressions in here in your paint I don't know if you can see that and I would zoom down but unfortunately I'm using the new camera and I haven't really worked on the zoom part of it yet it actually has a remote control which I can zoom with but I didn't bring it out so See what color we did them dark blue. Let's do the lighter blue. I think we've done the, I think we've done all the colors except for the tan, of course. up on its own sheet. We can pull it all up together. And I'll probably do one more and then I'll be done. I'm gonna do like a rainbow pull, see what I can what I could get. This one's not quite dry, so it's leaving some behind. But the color combination is really lovely. Look at that. It's really nice. Not a lot of... Well, there's some interesting areas in through here. But, let's do one more. What I was thinking of doing... is what's this just putting some on the side here and just just a little bit smudging it down and then running it across just to see what we get Maybe pull all of it up with the pink.
Well, that is interesting. Well, let's pull it up with a pink. Probably going to make a mess out of it, but... Almost want to just pull that up, but... Pink is kind of dry. Chalky. I don't know if I'm fond of that pink. I find very few pinks that I really like. I got one at Texas Art. It was an odd brand and I've never been able to find it again. Alright, let's try and pull it up. Let's sit for a minute. This is going to be my last one. Hopefully the audio worked on this. If not, you're going to hear a voiceover and I'm going to be so mad. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Probably going to be able to get pieces from everything on this. everywhere, but I think I like what it did. Look at that. And I will put off, I'll get good photos of these and put them at the end without the glare. But, uh, that's what I got. I'm hoping the audio on this is okay. Because that was a fun, fun experiment. Thank you very much for viewing my video. That was me working with pastels, and I will actually do a video on when I sit down to make the birds. I haven't decided the backgrounds yet. I mean, i got wood panels, but I haven't decided if I'm going to paint the background or what I'm going to do. But I should be doing that within the next week or two. But Thank you very much for my video. If you like, please put a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to be notified when they come out, then hit the bell icon. Thank you very much and you have a lovely day.